Hello, I'm Pastor Tommy McMurtry from Liberty Baptist Church in Rock Falls, Illinois. Right now I'm going to do the first in a series of videos discussing different Old Testament laws that we as fundamental Baptists are often accused of ignoring. Now, independent fundamental Baptists, they've often been noted for their strong stands on different controversial subjects, and when confronted with those stands, often like they should, they go to the scriptures, but they will usually, in many of these, go to the Old Testament that many would say, you know, we can't go there. Those things are done. And then when we go to those laws anyway, they'll start bringing up other laws as if we ignore it. And a great example of that is independent fundamental Baptists have always been known for preaching Leviticus 2013, where it says, if a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Now, you can all understand in 2020 why a lot of people would be bothered by that verse right there. But this is the word of God is from the perfect law of God. So when challenged on this, what people often do is they'll just ignore it. And then they'll go to other passages and say, well, what about this verse? What about that verse? And the most common one that will come up whenever this verse is brought up is what about mixed fabrics? And mixed fabrics is what I want to cover. What about mixed fabrics? Are we being hypocritical if we preach Leviticus 2013, but we ignore what the Bible teaches about mixed fabrics? Well, let's look and see what the Bible teaches about mixed fabrics. There's two verses where that's mentioned in Leviticus 19.19, which is one chapter for Leviticus 20. It says, Ye shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed. Neither shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen come upon thee. And then also in Deuteronomy 22, 11, it says, Thou shalt not wear a garment of diverse sorts as of woolen and linen together. So right there's two verses. So what do we do about that? I mean, right now I'm, wear, I'm wearing a shirt made out of one fabric. I'm made, wearing pants I don't, made out of another fabric and a tie made out of another fabric. So I'm being a, am I being a hypocrite for wearing these different items of clothing and different fabrics while teaching Leviticus 2013 at the same time? Well, to understand this, first we need to understand why did God even give this command? You know, does this verse about mixed fabrics give us a cause to throw out God's law when it came, comes to homosexuality or the death penalty. See, the truth is, when we go to the scriptures, we have no examples of anyone breaking this law. And since no penalty is given, it would, it's assumed, I would assume, that the judges of the land would have determined what should be done in that situation. This law, it doesn't say everything you're wearing at once must be of the same fabric. That's not what this law says. It says you're not to wear a garment of mingled fabric, as of woolen and linen, two different types of material woven together. Because the truth is we see examples of people in the Bible who did wear different types of garments. For example, John the Baptist in Matthew 3, 4, it says in the same John had his raiments, his raiment of camel's hair and a leathern girdle about his loins and his meat was locusts and wild honey. So John the Baptist wore different types of garments at the same time. And the third thing you got to understand, this doesn't say mixed fabrics. It says garments that have woolen and linen that are mingled together or woven together. It's not saying you can't wear two different types of garments at one time, but you shouldn't wear a garment and saying that's woven of two different type of materials together. So why? I think that's a legitimate question. Why would that even matter? It doesn't really seem like a big deal, but to understand this, let's read again the laws that were mentioned with this, okay? In Deuteronomy 22, nine, it says, thou shalt not sow the vineyard with diver seeds, lest the fruit of thy seed, which thou hast sown, and the fruit of thy vineyard be defiled. It's saying not to mix seeds there. Now. I'm not a big gardener or anything like that, but you know, I do know if I, I live out in farm country, I don't see uh, in the cornfields and the bean fields, I don't see them all intermingled and mixed. I see them separated. Why? It's better. It's practical. It's not going to work well. It's going to cause a lot of problems in the harvest. 
if you're mixing your seeds. It's gonna make it's gonna create a great deal of trouble and a lot more work. It says in verse 10, thou shalt not plow with an ox or an ass together. Now that makes sense too. Again, I've never plowed before, but I can imagine when you have two different kinds of animals plowing together, they're not gonna work well together. It's gonna make things very difficult. That would not be a practical thing to do. You're gonna be creating more work uh, for yourself and you're probably gonna make, make things much more difficult than they should be on the animals themselves and I don't think God would be cruel to animals. And then after that in verse 11, it says thou shalt not wear a garment of diver sorts as of woolen and linen together. These were just practical laws that God was giving to Israel. These were laws of common sense. And I believe they were meant to set a precedent, but they weren't exhaustive. Because you see, the Bible, it does not tell us every single thing to do in every single situation. But what it does is it gives us some common sense laws, just kind of setting a precedent so we will know how to do everything else without having necessarily a scripture for it. And so I believe it's just common sense that we shouldn't mix our fabrics together. Why? Because it's just not practical. And it especially would not have been practical in that day for them to uh, weave together woolen and linen together. Now, why is that? Well, I think, again, I'm not a seamstress. I don't make clothes and things like that. But I think it's interesting in Matthew 9, 16, it says, no man putteth a piece of a new cloth unto an old garment, for that which is put in to fill it up take it from the garment, and the rent is made worse. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles, else the bottles break, and the wine runneth out, and the bottles perish. But they put new wine into new bottles, and both are preserved. What's he talking about here? If you sew a new piece of a garment onto an old one, you gotta understand, garments, they tend to shrink after use. And if you go and you put a new piece of garment onto an old one, that new one, it hasn't shrunk yet, what's gonna end up happening is it's gonna end up tearing the other garment. You need to have garments that are made out of the same things because woolen and linen, you know, they're gonna shrink at a different rate and it's just gonna cause your clothes to just be a mess. You're gonna look like a slob. It's just not practical. God's just basically giving them some common sense instruction and I've not looked into my clothes, but I'm sure most of my clothes that I wear are not of mingled fabrics because it's just not practical. That's all there is to it. And so mixing woolen and linen together, it would have been an impractical thing that would have resulted in their clothes not lasting as long or causing them to just not look decent. So as far as I know, the clothes I wear are not made of mixed fabrics, but either way, it doesn't really matter because I've broken other laws of God, which makes me a sinner. All laws that we break make us a sinner, but not all sins are worthy of death. All, not all sins have the same penalty on them. And we see in the Bible, some sins were an abomination like homosexuality that came with a death penalty. Some laws were given were just laws of common sense that the Bible puts no penalty on them. We don't know what it was or what God would have done. I believe these things were kind of between the people and God. And there are some things that are between us and God, but there are other things that need to be between us and man because as man, we don't have the right to go around abusing people and killing others and stealing from other people. The Bible says, Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. But there's other things that are about our relationship with God and they are between us and God. He's shown us what he wants in the scriptures, but we as mankind have not been given any authority to enforce those things. So to compare homosexuality, the sin of homosexuality with the sin of wearing mixed fabrics, there is no comparison. It's a foolish argument and it does not give us an excuse now to just throw out the death penalty and to embrace sins like homosexuality. So I hope this was clear and I hope it was a help and I hope you'll be ready as we answer more questions about these Old Testament laws.